Hi guys, Boise here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use TACAN navigation in the C101. Now we've got our aircraft ready to go, we're on the runway, all started up. So I'll just show you how to set up the TACAN and then we can use it to navigate to another airfield. We're currently at Cobuleti and we're going to travel to Kutasi. Okay, so the first thing you do, on the right hand panel here we set the channel that we want for TACAN. I'll zoom in so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so it's this panel here. And you'll see if you turn these dials, you can select numbers on the uh, the channels. Now, Kutasi is 44x, so we select 44x. And over here, we want the second option, which is T stroke R. And you just select that again with the mouse button. There we go. Okay, so that panel's now set up. We now need to um, set the button here on the front panel for the navigation mode. Now you'll see here there's a uh, little button here saying VOR. We want to change that to TAC for TACAN. So if you see the TAC illuminated, you know I've got it selected correctly. Okay, so that's the TACAN now set up. Uh, whilst we navigate, we'll use two gauges on the front dashboard. You've got one here. Now if you see here, I'll zoom in a bit more. A hollow yellow needle. Once we have a signal with the TACAN, which we don't have yet, but we will once we take off, uh, that will actually point you towards the, the TACAN station at Kutasi, and you just simply follow the needle. Once you have a, uh, a reception and a signal, this orange nav flag will disappear, and you'll also have a distance indicator light up, and that will tell you how far you are away from the TACAN station. But we have no signal now, and that's fine. Um, you don't tend to get it until you've taken off, so uh, let's do that now. Let's take off and see if we can get a bearing on it. Okay, let's roll. And so once uh, once we do have a signal, the hollow yellow needle will point towards that. It will kick into life. If it's staying at the uh, the three o'clock position here, it's got no signal. But once you uh, once you see it jump into life, you know it's okay. Let's just take off here. Flyer off, gear up. Okay, so let's just climb a bit and see if we can get a signal. There we go, doesn't usually take too long. Okay, so if I zoom in again, you'll see the yellow needle has picked up uh, the signal, is now pointing towards the Takan at uh, Kutasi. And again, you'll see here, we've now got a distance, uh, a range on there to that station. So what we're going to do, we're going to adjust slightly left and put the yellow hollow needle at our 12 o'clock. And that means we're in, uh, in line with the station. Okay, that's about right. What you can also do, if you wish, uh, is to change the course setter in line with it. You'll see I'm using a little rotary there. And that just gives you another indicator that you're on the right course. So if you've got the, the yellow line lining up, you know you're more or less on the right course. You just set it manually to the course there. And in essence, that's it. You simply select the right station, select the T stroke R mode, make sure you've got the TACAN button pushed, uh, and then get a signal and, uh, and follow it to, uh, to the TACAN station. So what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll skip ahead now, and uh, I'll meet you a bit closer to the airfield and show you... Uh, Shed as we get to uh, get towards the Takan station. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, welcome back. So you can see here by the distance indicator that we're quite close now to uh, the station. You'll see it's descending there slowly. So what I'll do, if we poke uh, our nose down, we should hopefully see the station ahead of us and the airfield. Yep, there we go. So if you can see that, I'll zoom in to make sure. You can see the airfield there. And that really is it. Uh, as I said, you just set the channel, make sure you've got the T stroke car selected, uh, choose TACAN on the button on the front dash here. And then uh, once you have a signal, just follow the hollow yellow needle towards that uh, station. And uh, that's it. So it's a very basic guide on how to use the TACAN in the C101. Thank you for watching. 